One day Stuart came up to me and Stuart was a tightwad. He was so tight that guy squeaked when he walked, right? And said, Johnny, I want to talk to you. So I said, oh no, I really like this job. I'm making a dollar and a quarter an hour. What did I do? He says, yesterday I worked late. I went up to the little mezzanine and laid in my cot and noticed under the cot there was no dust. I looked behind the cabinets, there was no dust. You moved them and cleaned up. One day Stuart came up to me and Stuart was a tightwad. He was so tight that guy squeaked when he walked, right? And said, Johnny, I want to talk to you. So I said, oh no, I really like this job. I'm making a dollar and a quarter an hour. What did I do? He says, yesterday I worked late. I went up to the little mezzanine and laid in my cot and noticed under the cot there was no dust. I looked behind the cabinets, there was no dust. You moved them and cleaned up. One day Stuart came up to me and Stuart was a tight one. He was so tight that guy squeaked when he walked, right? And said, Johnny, I want to talk to you. Yesterday I worked late. I went up to the little mezzanine and laid in my cot and noticed under the cot there was no dust. I looked behind the cabinets, there was no dust. You moved them and cleaned up. Okay, lots of, this is where it starts to get a little bit tough. Beginning not too bad. One day Stuart, now some of you wrote Stuart with a D, but that's not a name. In America, Stuart, the name is almost always spelt with a T. I've never heard of it spelt with a D. So Stuart, Stuart. One day Stuart came up to me and Stuart was a tight one. Stuart was a tight one. Was a, was a, was a, it's there, it's really tough to hear. Tight wad, this is most likely a new word for many of you. It's a good word. Maybe we'll add this to E cubed. One day Stuart came up to me and Stuart was a tight wad. And Stuart was a tight wad. And Stuart was a tight, stop sound, tight wad. Uh, actually, now we have two stop sounds here. Uh, clean, T, tight, T, wad, D. Okay? So these, these stop sounds are different. This is a very clean, there's no vibration, tight. This has some vibration as we stop. Wad, 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 tight, wad, tight, wad. Okay? One day, Stuart came up to me, and Stuart was a tight wad. He was so tight, he was so tight, a little bit of intonation here, he was, now remember, it's, it's short, it's not was, it's almost was, 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 it's almost a schwa, almost an I and a Z sound, he was, was, think schwa, he was so, was so, but we have the emphasis here, he was so tight, that guy squeaked when he, now if you listen carefully, you do hear this, and you hear this, a little bit of a connection, that stop sound. That guy squeaked twenty, squeaked twenty, squeaked twenty. So several of you wrote twenty. Good job. Yes, the sound is the same. Squeak twenty, squeak twenty, but it's squeaked when he. Now this word, the seven H's. He, her, him, his, had, has, have. In the middle of a sentence, we can cancel the H. Squeaked when he, squeaked when he. Squeaked when he, squeaked when he walked, right? And once again, walked, right? A little bit of a T sound coming over here. And said, and said, this is very quick, there's no D, it's like almost like an EN, and said, Johnny, and said, Johnny, I want, uh, did he say wanna or want to? I think he says wanna. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And he does say to you. Some of you wrote with. No, absolutely it's to. Listen and you'll hear to. Do you understand the difference between to and with? I'll tell you tomorrow in the explanation video. Okay? Okay, you guys did pretty good, but there were some tricky words here. So mezzanine and cot cabinets, those were the big problems. Lots of people missed them and this sentence here. I went up to the little mezzanine and laid in my cot. Cot there, you also tricky. Let's go back here. Yesterday, I worked late. 
I worked late. Good job here. Everybody did fine. I worked late. I went up to the. Now, went up. So we have the N sound. We can cancel the T. Strong sounds. The strong sounds are what? S N L. The weak sounds are D T T H. The strong sounds can cancel the weak sounds. Perfect pronunciation. I went up. The Queen's English. I went up. But that damn American English, I went up. I went up. I went up. And this guy's from California, which actually, for him, his pronunciation is very standard American. I went up to the, here we got the t. I went up to the, two has how many pronunciations? Seven. T, I'm sorry, ta, da, t, da, t, d, and two. In this case, t, I went up to the, I went up to the little mezzanine, the little mezzanine, mezzanine, get that Z sound, mezzanine, and laid in my cot, and laid in my cot. Once again, get rid of the D, and laid in my, and laid in my cot. Stop sound, and laid in my cot. Once again, use your glossary. And notice, under the cot, and notice, Oh, so here we got, once again, lots of N's, get rid of that, and notice, flat T, and notice, under, a little bit of a connection there, under the, keep the D here, under the cot, there was no dust. Under the cot, there was no dust. Under the cot, there was no dust. I noticed someplace, where, there, there was no dust. And moving on to the next sentence. I looked behind. Now this is tough. I looked behind. Now you guys did a great job here. The pronunciation, perfect pronunciation, looked. Okay? But the faster we say it, looked, looked. So we stop at the K, but we still go to the T. Look back here. It's a glottal stop. Looked. But we can still make the T with our tongue. Looked, looked, looked. I looked behind. So it's a stop sound here. I look behind the cabinets. Behind the, so we can think like this, behind the cabinets with an S. There was no dust. There was no dust. You moved them. So it's a very short U. U, we got U, ya, y. You moved them. Now we talked about this last lesson too, I think, in Seinfeld. Them has three pronunciations. We can say them. We can say them, a very short them, them, them. And we can say um, um. And that's the case here. Move them, move them. There is no th. It's this pronunciation. Okay? You move them. It must be them because it's cabinets. You see the logic there? Okay? You move them and cleaned up. You moved them and cleaned up. You moved them and cleaned up. Okay?